got the big guns with me now. So we're gonna use this to get that. First step, we're going to pull these points and condenser out of here, and hopefully, I ordered the right kit. If I did, we're going to be happy. Points are out, condensers out. This has timing advanced is based off of levers and things of that sort, so it's nothing. Nothing moves in this deal. So I do believe. Yeah, look at that, I ordered the right kit. Amazing. Miracles never cease. I think so. That hole, that screw hole lines up, and that screw hole lines up, and that's it, just two. Let's get this thing bolted down. Got that, the pickup plate bolted down. And I ran the wires through the stock location. And it comes with a grommet, but I'm not going to be able to use it. Because then it'll just be too tight. So those are nice and tight in there. So I don't think that's an issue. I'm just going to pull them on through. And then I think what I'll do is this little tab right here. I think I'll zip tie those wires there with a little zip tie. And that ought to keep everything out of the way. And clean so that's the plan now the last piece you've got is this component right here and whoops it's magnetized so that's how it picks everything it picks up that signal it just sits down on the rotor where the rotor used to sit and you just pop it down on there and then boom that's it now it should next step this wire, the red one, goes to the positive side of the coil, which is over here. And you leave that wire hook, hooked up. I'm going to use a different coil, though. But you go there, then this one, the trigger goes on the negative side of the coil. The only other thing that you've got to do is right in there, you can see this ballast resistor right, right here. Sorry, come on, folks. Right there. We're gonna unhook that. We're gonna join those two wires together. And then that way, you got a constant 12 volts. We got it all together. Got the new coil on there. And that is a Protronics coil, kind of their lower line. This cover, I had to modify and kind of grind that center section out so it would sit down on here far enough. Now, just have to put the rotor and all that together. So, it's got this little weird clip that sits on here. Oh, sorry, I got it upside down. Uh, let's see, this is what the clip looks like. That just kind of keeps that rotor sitting on there correctly. Here we go. I'm working and trying to film, trying to record, and then rotor's got a flat spot so you can't mess it up. Just sets in there. And boom, we'll set the cap on. Come on now. There it is. There it is. All right. 
perfect. And number next, perfect. Let's try to get that clip on right there. Let's do that one first. Come on. There we go. Needed both hands. Give y'all a good close look at this thing. All right. Coil wire. Put this on. We're going to bypass that resistor, and once that's done, then we'll uh, uh, we'll wire up that ignition switch. I'm waiting on a couple of uh, connectors, some electrical connectors. Should be able to fire it up if this battery's any good. Pull the choke. it up that's it this tire that tire won't hold air no matter what for a few minutes it will all the rest seem to hold air but we're gonna put tires on it but we're gonna snip into this and put a shutoff valve and a, uh, a fuel filter on there and we'll drain the oil put a filter on it I've got both of those should be ready to rock and roll Quick drain. How about that for a drain plug? Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can short this to the battery. Make some video excitement. So I'm using a pair of vice grips to crimp this off to shut the, uh, shut the fuel off. Because there's not really any kind of shut off. And then I'm going to add this valve on there and that should make it nice. Let's see. I'll just snip this piece off right here. It's in a very old piece of steel line, so I'm just going to put the shutoff valve onto it. reason it wouldn't flow is because the bowl's full in there and the needle wouldn't let it go. But yeah, I like that.
clear. about a block away. It's kind of funny watching people look at you as you drove a 54 tractor down the road. Well, we're back on the old 1954 Ford Jubilee here. Got the new tires on and got the ignition system earlier. Didn't get any footage of it, but I put a uh, new temp and charging gauge on there. And right here, this is the throttle linkage. And it adjusts the timing and the throttle at the same time. And this piece right here broke. I already got it ground down, kind of cleaned up. Okay, got it all in there, back together, so that's idle, and then it pulls, and there's full throttle. And I think it's gonna hold together. Here's the linkage moving. be working good now. Okay. Yeah, I'll start. you can see how that throttle moves in and out it actually um, it's a governor system on there and it cranks it back and forth so it doesn't let it run too high at rpm so that's all that is but I do believe we're ready to deliver this bad boy we're gonna deliver this bad boy today and let's see how she starts Choke. Put the fuel in it, and I think it's going to be good to go. Pretty happy with this.
weird. It doesn't want to go into that gear there. There it is. Okay. wrap on that one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give us a like, comment, subscribe. Stick around for more.